Dude, affiliate marketing just has all these crazy terms like EPC, which I have no idea what it means. Well, John will show you, me will show you what EPC means, and I'll also be showing you some examples, not examples, they're real life data from my actual affiliates of my program of what their EPCs actually are. Check it out. So EPC is a common term that's used in affiliate marketing. It's a very important term and it's one that a lot of people look at to determine how effective their marketing is. What it stands for is earnings per click. Okay, for every click you send to the product, how much do you earn? And the reason why EPC is such an in vogue kind of acronym is because most advertising, the one metric you have most under your control is how much you're spending per click. A lot of affiliates are spending money on advertising on Google, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. And the cost per click, the cost you spend per click is very much in your control. Because on your side, you control how much you're spending on advertising and you control, generally speaking, the pre-sale page or the landing page if you're more advanced. Why is it important to know your EPC though? Let's say I know that the average earnings per click of an affiliate for a product I'm promoting. Let's say I'm promoting a, I'm getting solar leads. I'll have my assistant link it here. There's a playlist I have with some very hidden videos from my friends Carlos Cruz and Ronnie Sandlin, multimillionaire affiliates, who uh, it's called The Art of Copywriting and I'll try to have my people link it there. If you don't get it there, you can just subscribe to my channel and you get some free playlists. But solar leads, let's say I'm advertising solar leads and I know that most affiliates are earning about 75 cents per click. Or maybe I saw a case study and they're earning 75 cents per click. As an affiliate, I know I shouldn't be spending much more than 75 cents per click or else I'm not going to make money. I'm not going to be profitable. So that's a number in my control. So if I earn 75 cents per click on average, or if that's what other affiliates are seeing, I don't want to spend more than this number. It's a good heuristic to measure your advertising by. Now let's go on my computer and I'll show you some of the EPCs of my, my top affiliates for my, my program on ClickBank called the Super Affiliate System. So I just redecided. I'm actually going to show you another great example before I show you my own EPCs um, of some CPA offers on the Affiliati network. I just so happen to have this up. So this is a CPA network and over here you'll see they have top offers. Okay, they have all the top offers listed and they also have the EPC. So I'm going to zoom in on that and what we see here is the top offers on the Affiliati network are crypto, paper call, diet, CBD, and you'll see the EPCs, which means the earnings per click, what this network is doing is it's taking the earnings per click and it's averaging it out amongst their affiliates. Now you'll see the top EPC for crypto is $10.23 per click. That's a lot of money. That being said, it's extremely hard to advertise these offers. Facebook and Google and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter, none of those networks allow you to advertise any of these offers that you see on Affiliati. So in order to advertise these offers, you have to be way more creative um, and that's way beyond the scope of what I talk about here and actually I don't even recommend you do this sort of affiliate marketing because you have to bend some rules or laws to do it. But that gives you an idea of the high point of EPCs and you'll see the EPCs range all the way up you know, from 10 to $2. The people that are advertising these offers also, it's more advanced, they're using landing pages. So this isn't actually the cost per click from an ad, this is actually the earnings per click. They've already gone through a series of other pages beforehand. It gets more complicated, not going to go into explain it. So here are some results from my own program and you'll see the earnings per click varies wildly based on what sort of traffic or where that traffic is coming from. So these are all affiliates that were paid by me last month. And as you'll see here, um, affiliates sent over 1 million visits to my, my product on ClickBank last month 
and the overall average, because I get a lot of spam traffic, a lot of people send spam traffic, was 13 cents EPC. But if you'll notice, all of the affiliates that are getting sales are getting earnings per click around somewhere between two to $10. There's some flukes in here, I don't know how this was caused. But in ClickBank, they don't call it a click, they call it a hop. So it's actually EPH, I guess, earnings per hop. And you'll see it says the initial sales amount divided by the hop count. Now, the reason why affiliates promote my program is because I do very well at monetizing um, my traffic. People make a lot of money if they're advertising uh, my pro program on ClickBank. And you'll see here, for instance, Cypher Street, they sent 500 clicks and they made on average about $6.42 per click. You'll see Nomen sent 1,000 clicks, 1,200, and made on average $3.40 per click. You'll see EVP Stud made on average $4.58 per click. So you get a wide range of things, but they all, you know, then you see Fend Dorma uh, sent 5,000 clicks and made 4,000, or on average, a buck per click. But he made a lot of sales. So you'll see, this is some real data from my program, and you saw some real data from another person's program to give you kind of a makeup of how affiliates, how much of money you, know, you should be seen per click and just how, what it looks like um, to help you measure your advertising. Oh man, that's complicated stuff. EPC is one of those technical affiliate terms. Now, if you really want to get into this industry, first off, I suggest you go through some of my playlists. I have some really cutty affiliate marketing stuff, and particularly, look up my videos with Carlos Cruz in them. Or just join my training course. If you're trying to get this deep in affiliate marketing, I really suggest join my training course. But subscribe to the channel first and hit that notification bell so you can see future videos I'll be releasing on affiliate marketing. And please leave a comment to let me know if there's any other topics you'd like me to address within affiliate marketing. I have a lot of knowledge packed up here, done a lot of marketing, and I can help you guys out. See you soon.